Varric, Aveline. Well, I can't have him on my team yet? That's weird. Okay, what kind of quests we got? Night Terrors. <clears throat> oh, bam, everyone leveled. Okay. Uh... Uh, it's in the defense, but you know, fix more damage across the larger area. Bianca is a very pretty name. I'll tell her you said so, Daisy. She can't actually hear you, can she? Of course she can. What kind of question is that? Wait, are we talking about your crossbow or something else now? <laughs> oh, Bianca. The finest clothing from here. Well, I would buy that if I had Isabella if the quest didn't glitch. Fucking thing. Please tell me how that that works right there. <laughs> Sorry, gotta check all the shops. Damn. Damn. Uh. Signet ring. Uh. Okay. Not sure what that signal ring is either. To this character.
Okay, think good. Damn. Why can't I be a rogue? <laughs> Ugh, rogues get all the best things. Well, since it's telling me to go that way, I'm going to go the other way. Chess God of the Scoundrel. I can't not buy that for Aveline. She's my tank. your uncle from time to time, but his house does smell very strange, even from the street. Mm, nothing this way. Okay, I think I'll try for the achievement where no one dies this year, so the elves are dumb, they're actually let's see if we can do this. I'd hate to be enough. Wait. Can we help this chick's son? I was hoping you'd come. 
You did so much for my Fenriel already, but... I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fenriel went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. He can't be woken up? The Keeper says he is near death. His lips still fog a mirror, but that is all. Surely there are mages who can pursue him in the Fade. I have contacted Keeper Marathari. The Dalish have an ancient ritual that might help. But it requires someone Fainreal trusts to enter the Fade to free him. I did some work for you. That doesn't make me your boy's best friend. You may not think so, but I believe Fainreal does. My Dalish friends tell me he speaks of you all the time. The Keeper says Fainreal's powers are a throwback to ancient magics that once let elves shape the Fade. The only way to reach him is through his dreams. You key? How would such a magic work? I am no mage. I only know the Keeper said it was a power greatly feared by the Tevinter Magisters. I'm not afraid of demons. Marith Harry is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fenriel back. His childhood things here will help anchor him. Are you willing to submit to her magic to save my son? What does the ritual entail? The Keeper can explain it better than I. Her ritual will send you into the Fade. Once there, I imagine you face down the demons until Fainreal regains control of himself. You will be unable to return from the Fade until he does. I would not see the demons acquire a new source of power. I know his power makes him dangerous, but please, it's not Fainreal's fault. Be gentle with him. Perhaps this is something best left to the Circle. The Keeper will delve into the ancient magics to protect this half-breed. She wouldn't do so for me. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? Hmm. I, eh, well, eh, might as well start it. This is too urgent to delay. You have been far kinder than I had any right to expect. Wonder what that seal means. I came quickly, Ariani. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Tevinters called Somniari, a dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive. What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at will. Without the aid of Lyrium. In the Fade, they can shape dreams. And even affect the world beyond the Veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers. And slay them in their dreams. Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. 
Is there a difference between the Beyond and the Fade? They are the same. By either name, the Fade is the realm of spirits. Fade is his heart. While the mortal realm is its strong arm. The demons who live there covet the bodies of mortals and seek to possess them. Only mages ever touch the Fade in a waking state. Others see it in dreams. What exactly are we going to do here? The Elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari Arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. So, if I do your ritual, I assume there's some kind of reward. We will live. If that is not reward enough, perhaps you will accept the tome where I found this ritual. It should prove valuable to your own studies of magic. Now, yeah. Please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. Adventuring doesn't pay for itself. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. I want to get this over with. Fainreel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls Tranquil. He will be no threat after. Hmm. Well, I mean, at least he gets to live, I suppose. <sighs> I will not let him become a danger. I wish you luck. Now, gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. Can I come? I'd love to see the ritual. And I promise I, I won't be a bother. I can't imagine what aid I could offer in a realm of dreams and magic. I admit, I'm a little fascinated. Let us begin. Well, too bad, Aveline, you're coming. Whether you want to or not, you got a tank. You're the only tank. Ow. Is this the temple? What an awful thing to dream about. Wait. Come. Why did I get Meryl Ravelry? What? Okay, that's weird. Well, it's Rat Corny Topor. I have a proposition. I trust sadly I'd be no threat to you. We are drawn. I'm merely. I'm not sure we should be doing this. But what? Bring me Fainwheel. And I will grant you anything you ask. Power, magic, money, the strength of ten men. Give me the power to channel the Fade, and I will take your deal. Signed and sealed. Be cautious. Demons don't always keep their promises. Use those doors to enter the other parts of Fainrail's nightmare. You will take on the form of something he dreams. 
gently guide him out of his temptation. If you disrupt him too quickly, his mind will snap. Bring him to me, and power beyond dreams will be yours. Well, here we go. What am I now? My people. Okay. I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. I... I don't know what to say. That's not the Keeper, Fainreel. Demons can take on other forms. He lies. The first enchanter is a pawn of the Templars. No. Silence, demon! Weren't you... Keeper Marathari warned me of this. You're not the Keeper. Mother's people have no circle, but they don't consort with demons. You... Why did you interfere? Fainreel would have changed the world. There can be no honest deal with a demon. No? You think I will lie then, when I offer your friends what Fainreel turned down? You think this elf, with her innocent face, would turn down a demon's offer? She didn't before. How about it? Would you take what I offered the boy? Scion of the Dalish, savior of elvenkind. Can you... do that? I am the greatest of my kind. Whatever tricks your little pet has taught you will pale in comparison. Demons always turn on you in the end. I... cannot put you ahead of the fate of my people. You took my dreamer. Now you'll take his place. Okay, there's got to be a way to do this. Let's try a more subtle approach this time. My people, I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. I... I don't know what to say. This is a trick. First Enchanter, what are you doing here? Mother told me the Dalish are honorable. Why would the Keeper lie? Why would she entrust her people to a human? You are one of us, Fainreel. Your magic will restore our greatness. But you told me this magic was outlawed for a reason. Even the Dalish don't practice it anymore. Could the Elves trust you with the power to shape reality? I... Could you trust yourself? Don't listen to him. The First Enchanter is trying to keep you from realizing your greatness. Trying to keep me from temptation? Just like you were. 
You're not the keeper. Be gone, fiend. You. Why did you interfere? Oh, made him angry. With my power joined to his, Fainreal would have changed the world. The boy only wants his freedom, not your power. Those who are free to choose always want power. You think your friends are different. You think this elf, with her innocent face, would turn down a demon's offer? She didn't before. How about it? Would you take what I offered the boy? Scion of the Dalish, savior of elvenkind. Can you... do that? I am the greatest of my kind. Whatever tricks your little pet has taught you will pale in comparison. All right. When he puts it that way. I... cannot put you ahead of the fate of my people. You took my dreamer! Okay. I'm thinking I have to kill these. Now. I can count on his Varric. Everyone, I hope everyone doesn't die. Or I'll be pissed. That's it, Fain Real. Hard on the downstroke, then lift. Good. I'll have you scribing all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a brave lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antietha, Father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, Mother? That's not your father, Fainreal. It's a demon. And I'm definitely not your mother. A demon? No. No, I want this! Then remember this, is who took away them. Only thing you ever wanted. Ah! You, you turned him against me. Yeah, as I said before, those nipple tassels are distracting. And now you're going to die. Take away my pets, and I'll take away yours. How loyal are these friends you drag into the Fade? What would your noble knight do to reclaim what she lost? You spent your whole life trying to be the Chevalier your father wanted. The one thing you chose for yourself, and the Dark Spawn took him. Wesley? I've been waiting for you, love. All your doubts started when we met this apostate. Kill her, and everything we lost will be restored. This is a demon in Wesley's skin. How can you fall for this? It is not the form she wants. It is redemption. I failed you, Wesley. I failed myself. If that moment could be changed... You want me come through her. Let's <laughs> go. 
everything I'm doing seems to work. I'm losing ground. Yeah. Back me up or you lose me. Does that mean I can come with you? You. Kill her. So it's just Varric left. What's happening? Wait. I know you. You saved me from those slavers. Are you a dream? Yes. A lovely dream. Just close your eyes and open yourself to the fade. I am tired. It has been a trying night. Yes. Just relax. Everything will be all right. <laughs> now I have the power of the dreamer. The fade shall move at my command. Return to your mortal realm. Your reward awaits you. Woo! Being a dick. I am sorry. I wasn't able to save Fainril. What do you mean? Is he dead? My poor boy. No. I see on your face it is worse. He gave in to the demons, did he not? Don't blame Fainril. I am the one who was weak. I am sure you did all you could. It was a mad hope. Beyond any chance for success. No. Oh, my poor boy. Oh, this magic is a curse. Would that the creators had given him a normal life. And his body lay in the Sundermount, guarded by my tribe. I must return before he awakens. <laughs> 